Hey, so um, thank you so much for inviting me once again. It's a, it's a privilege and an honor to, to be invited at an event such as this to speak. I don't take it lightly, so I just want to thank you once again. Now, as you can see uh, on the title, the title is Why Am I Here? And it's such a bold statement, bogus claim to say, today I'm going to tell you, uh, how, or you're going to find out why you are where you are. So in other words, I'm not the one who's going to tell you why you are where you are, but I, I just want to use the scriptures to show you exactly why you are where you are. Now, before I continue, I just want to pray just a little bit so that God will be with us. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this privilege you've given us. And now, as we're about to study your word more, we ask that your Holy Spirit would be with us. Amen. Lord, I ask that you forgive me of my sins. If there's anything that's blocking your word from actually having the effect that it should have on us, I pray that you remove that from me. Lord, as I speak, let it be you that speaks, not me. So on that subject, Mujenza Kwan Mudavuga, Mumheza Magamboyan, Abarium Fogabus. We ask Amen. this in Jesus' name to subject Mujer Jesu Christo. Amen. 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 So this question, why am I here, can be asked in two ways. The first way is to ask, why am I here on this planet? Why do I exist? And with the pandemic, right? The question even makes much more sense. Why am I in the middle of all this? What's the point of life? No, ne, but you can even be much more specific and ask, why am I in this specific place? Why am I in this specific geographical location? Those watching from the U.S., you may be asking, or you should be asking, why did God place me in the U.S.A.? Why in the state of Arizona? Why not the other state? And my friends in Canada might be asking, why am I in Canada? Why in British Columbia? British Columbia. Why not Toronto or Quebec? Toronto, Quebec? Or the other way around? Why was I born here? Why did I migrate here? Those in Africa might be asking the same question, should be asking the yes. same question, really. Why am I here in Africa? Why was I born here? Why in South Africa? Why Angola? You name it. Countries. Wherever you might find yourself at, the question is, why are you there? 
aho waba wawe wakwibona hose ikibazo niki kuki mpari is it mere coincidence bese ni byapfiye kwigira ngo cyo cyangwa hari impamvu is there a specific reason behind it cyangwa hari impamvu igaragara yatumye bimera bityo and so as we as we ask the question why did god put me here i no, want no, you no. to think with me igihe twibaza iki kibazo kuki kubera iki mana yakeze hano biratumana no gutekereza kuri ibisubizo and our answer is found in the book of act 1726 igisubizo turakibona rero mu byakozwe n'intumwa 1927 i don't have the uh, kinyarwanda translation but i think you can find it and read it i do have it just let's go ahead All right, perfect. So Acts 17:26 says, "And hath made of one blood all nations of men to dwell on all the face of the earth, and hath determined the times before appointed and the bounds of their habitation." Paragira hati kandi yaremye yaremye amahanga yose yabantu bakomoka ku muntu umwe ibakwiza mu isi yose ni nayo yashizeho ibihe by'imyaka ko bikura ko bikuranwa uko yategetse igahamiriza abantu ingaba ingabano zabo batzaho batuye This verse is amazing it it literally answers the question why am i here It is so many gitangaza irashimishira mbese ni igisubizo kimwe mu ndihano Well even though i say it's the answer it's it just kind of like highlights a bit because it just tells you what god did Hano mbese ni da we igisubizo kimwe mu imana yabikoze So moving on here we see that we can learn few things from that verse. Number one, it said we are one blood. Whether you are white, black, or whatever category the world might have categorized you in. Cyangwa ubwo kubgare bwo bwose waburi bwo. The Bible says we are one blood. And so, and so therefore there's no justification for racism, classism or any other ism that teaches that one group of people is higher, greater or better than the other. Mwandi magambo rero ntabwo hariho icyo cyo kuvuga ngo ubwoko itsinda ikindi kintu gitangaje cyangwa se gikomeye itsinda ry'abantu nguko satani umugome wacu atugabanya tugira abanzi b'Imana yahubwo no iriso muri atwerekaye uko turi umwe and we are one blood and i don't have to mention so much we know what division has done in the past even now mu yandi magambo rero iriso muri atubwira yuko turaba maraso amwe turaba umugabo umwe icyaha cyatuzanye mu iki amaca kubiri just looking at what has happened in the past when people started to put other groups above others we know what happened ni musubiza masi nyuma murebe aho abantu bage basubiranamo amoka gasubiranamo maze bakakubitana bakarwana ndetse bakangana cyane bakwibaza impamvu all this has happened because people did not pay attention or did not listen to god's word which says we are one blood impamvu ibi byose biva cyangwa se byabayeho nuko abantu batabashije kwita kuri jambo ry'Imana ngo basobore kintu n'icyo rivuga ko turaba umugabo umwe abamaraso amwe The second thing we learn here is that God placed us on the first of the earth Ikindi kintu twigiye hanga hari rero niki nuko Imana yaturemye maze idushira kwisi Um in um Genesis chapter 126 it says and God blessed them I think it's 28 and God blessed them and God said unto them be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. Maze mwitangira ushe cyambere mu wa 28 aravuga ngo Imana ibaho umugisha imaze kurema Adam na Eva ibaho umugisha Imana irababwira iti mwororoke mugwire mwuzuri si mwimenyereze ibirimo mutware amafi yo mu nyanja ninyo nini bisiga byo mu kirere nibintu byose bifite ubugingo yigenza kwisi and so god has not only made us of one blood but he has also met that we should inhabit the earth no ntabwo imana rero yaturemye gusa ngo turaba umuntu umwe turaba maraso amwe ahubwo adushize no kwisi kugira ngo tuyitureho and so moving on here 
the the issue is we have now to understand that we are to dwell on the earth not space ikindi kibazo rero dushaka kwibaza aho niki nuko twaremewe kuba kuri isi aho twaremewe kuba mu kirere we are not created to dwell on mars ha nuko twaremewe kuba muri cyaki yasini yitwa mars and this is particularly interesting in our time because we see these companies spending billions of dollars investing in a way to escape from this planet to find another place where we can stay. Bikaba bitangaje muri iki gihe cyacu ubwo tubona aya ma company manini n'abanyamafaranga bafite amafaranga menshi ubahangakishwe no kujya mu kirere ngo bagiye kureba mu kwezi kugira ngo bazature yo kandi tuze neza ko dutarimwe gutuka mu kwezi. The Bible says it's on earth in fact the, the next one is a surprising one it's not even in heaven you know uh, people, some people believe when you die you go to heaven and but we know the truth of the matter is that when a person dies they are sleeping right but in the day of resurrection we know that people will stay in heaven for 1000 years kandi mu gihe cy'umuzuko bitubwira yuko ngo tuzamara imyaka igihumbi mu ijuru but we're going to come back on the renewed earth hanyuma imyaka igihumbi tuzagaruka kuri isi yamaze gutunganya n'izo zaturaho the bible says the the meek shall inherit the earth kandi bibiliya ivuga yuko ngo ndetse ngo abantu abantu twese tuza tuzatungura ngo and so am I teaching that we should start worshiping the earth? No, it's there's something interesting about the earth. Oh yeah. See, when God created us, before I go to that point, just look at that picture. <laughs> Look at the earth. It's the third planet. Look at the size of other planets. It's just like a dot. But even more than that, when God created humans, he used humus. There's humility in the earth. God created us not from gold or some precious metal. But he chose the dust of the ground. And so we are called humans, which literally means humus man. That means umunu witaka. Right. And that was very interesting. And so as we ask ourselves, why am I here? One of the answers to that is because God wants to humble you. You might, you might be saying, oh, I don't like this place. But there's, there's a reason why God put you there. Let's look at another point. The verse says that times are appointed. Baby boomers, Generation Z, millennials, you name it. Every time Baby is boomers, by Generation Z, by millennials, everything was appointed before time, beforehand. Here's an interesting quote by uh, a, a man called Adam Clark. It says, this evidently refers to the dispersion and migration of nations. 
ati ibi nibimenyetso byerekana ugutandukana cyangwa se no kwimuka kwa masi and so i was excited when i read that because it seems as though god is the god of migration when people move from one place to another we find that that's the purpose of god because remember the Tower of Babel when people wanted to come together and just stay in place? God said you have to dwell on all the face of the earth and subdue no, it. So he confused their languages and they split and went to different parts of the earth. The quote continues, and it means that God had in his plan fixed the times when each country should be settled and the rise, the prosperity, and the fall of each nation. And and this is very biblical because Daniel 2 tells us that it is God that sets up kings and removes kings. In Daniel chapter 2, we read about the great image which represented the nations of the earth and everyone came as it was predicted. And so continuing we'll, about the times appointed, it continues to say that the different continents and islands have not therefore been settled by chance, but by a wise rule and in accordance with God's arrangement and design. And so you are not where you are by accident. God put you there. It even gets deeper. It says even the bounds or boundaries were appointed. Adam Clark tells us these four interesting points that we can learn from this verse. Adam Clark the changes that happen under nations are the direction or are under the direction of God's wisdom. You know, there was a time when there was slavery. And there was a time when it ended. And I want to believe that God was involved. And here's how I know. The way I know is how, when you look at the slavery, you find that the people who led the changes, they're usually men of God. The likes of Martin Luther King Jr. And so knowing that God has put us in different places for specific reasons that he has... We should not be restless or feel dissatisfied because of the place where we are. God put us there for a reason. The third thing we learn is that God has given all that we need, and so we do not need to invade others. 
yahadushize kandi hadushira ifite niki twifuriza kandi yifuza yuko twumva tudakeneye ibindi bindi cyangwa tudakeneye abandi and so number 4 this verse shows us that wars of conquest are evil bityo rero ingingo ya kane yabonye ravuza ati za ntambara zo kunesha izo ntambara ni ntambara mbi ntabwo ari nziza because god put you where you're supposed to be why do you want to go and take something else and kuko ahuri ni himana yagushize none kuki ushaka kurwana ya ngo uje gufata ibyabandi cyangwa se ugende uhishire kandi atari imana atari umugambi w'imana so it's another interesting one it says god has given to people their places of abode hari ikindi rero gitangaje hano ngo nuko imana yahaya abantu ahantu ho ya teganije ubwayo kirango bahabe aho baba kugira ngo bahabe and we have no right to disturb those abodes kandi nta burenganzira dufite bwo guhungabanya aho hantu imana yadushize or to attempt to displace them in a violent manner cyangwa se kugira ngo tugerageze kubihindura tubisenya tubivanaho mu buryo mu buryo burakaje bubi because when you try to displace people from where god put them kuko iyo gerageje kwimura abantu aho imana yabashize you are actually fighting with god's purpose ubure kurwana n'umugambi w'imana moving on let's just find the right answer to why we are where we are dukubeje reka twongere dusturebe ture twibaze impamvu turi aho turi act 1727 says ko murongo wa 27 ngo cyaje twasomaga that they should seek the lord kugira ngo bashake imana if happily they might feel after him kugira ngo bashake imana ngo ahari babashe kuyibona baka 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 and find him maze bayibone though he be not far from every one of us you see the reason why god has put you where you are urabona impamvu imana yagushyiza huri is so that you should seek him no kugira ngo yishake so all you have to do now is look at where you are icyo ukeneye gukora no kureba huri and ask yourself how does all these things around me lead me closer to god Mazo kibazuti kubera iki ibintu byose binkikije bindiruhande rwose ni mu buhe buryo byanyerekeza ku mana How can they make me seek the Lord Bese byamfasha bite kugira ngo nshake imana umwami wanje You will find that uzasanga There is no excuse to say I cannot follow God because I am in the USA Na mpamvu ni mu shura gutanga kuvuga kuti sinshaka gushake imana kuko ndi muri America because here marijuana is legal kuberiki kuko hano muri america marijuana cyangwa se bya biyo bya bwenge biremewe that that cannot be the reason because it says god has put everyone where they are so that they should seek him nokuva ngo iyo ntabwo ariyo mpamvu rero kuko dusobanukiwe neza yuko imana ahuri imana yahagushize kugira ngo yishake And so as we close Sabbath today as we continue even in the holy hours I want you to seek the Lord. No kurero ubwo turiho dusoza isabato uyu munsi tukaba tujye gukomeza muri iki cyumwe rukiri imbere ndabarikira buri wese bira ngo muvandimwe ushake imana bishoka kwibona. Isaiah says seek the Lord while he may yet be found. Ko yesa yaravuga ati shake imana bishoka kwibona. We are also told to seek the Lord early kandi twigishwa yuko ngo tugomba kwishaka mbere y'igihe but what does it mean to seek the lord no nese bishatse kuvuga iki ngo gushaka imana umwami well the next verse tells us murongo kuri keho ratubwira uti it says for in him we live and move and have our whole, our, own, our being as certain also of your poets have said for we also are his offspring kuko ari muri yo dufite ubugingo bwacu tugenda turiho nkuko bamwe bo mu bo mu bahimbye ibindirimbo banyu bavuze bati turu rubyaro rwayo and so to seek the lord means to accept your identity in him 
Kuwa ngo ushaka imana no kwemera identite yawe mu mana to accept that you are his offspring kwemera yuko uru rubyaro rwe that he's the one who placed you where you are ko niyo yabushiza huri and he has a specific reason for where you are kandi ufite uyu mugambi yabushira ho ngahuri i mean just think about it there's 7. Point something billion people right now so I said there's like many people, 7 billion people on the planet right now. You ask yourself, why am I here in all of this? I want to suggest to you that it's because God has a particular purpose. And I'm not going to tell you what it is, but you will have to find it yourself. But whatever that purpose might be, the first and foremost thing is that you seek the Lord. Because when you seek the Lord, then he will tell you his purpose for you. But let's make a spiritual transition here. Why am I here? Spiritually uh, speaking, why am I struggling? Why is this temptation keeping coming over and over again? Why do I have all these problems? The answer is still the same. That you may seek him. There's no temptation that has taken any man that God sees that you are not able to bear. And so that means that when, when God allows temptations to happen, he wants us to seek him. We continue to read that for as much then as we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the Godhead is like unto gold or silver or stone graven by art and man's device. I'll just repeat that verse one more time. It, it said, for as much then as we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the Godhead is like unto gold or silver or stone graven by art and man's device. See, th th those three words are very interesting. Gold, silver, or silver. It just shows the varying level of value that people have. There's gold, silver, or stone. This verse is telling us that to seek God means to depart from every other notion of God except the true God. You see, uh, Paul here was speaking to the Greeks. They had many idols they worshipped to be God. 
but what he's telling them is that God is irreplaceable. Ariko ichele kwa bira hano ya bira kaya yuko hachwa simbuzi mana. And so in your life, you have to look at yourself and see: Do you have some some gold idol that you're worshiping, or some silver, or some stone? Mo muzi mabga wereero ni chukomba kuibaza. Mbese ufite amawe yagachiro ufite feza changua izahabu usimbuzi mana. If you are going to seek the Lord, you must depart from every idol. Niba uye meje kushaki mana ugomba kuita ndo kanya nebi jirugwa mani biyari biyos. Act 1730 is the climax and the conclusion of our study today. Umrongo wa mirongo itaturero ni nkaga sonjero changwa se umusozo wiki kisho cha chuyo mutu. It says that at the times of this ignorance, God winked at. Nuko iyo misi yo kujirugwa imana ya la yire nga jish. But now, areko noneho, commands all men everywhere to repent. See, the purpose, the reason why you are where you are is so that you should seek God. I mean, think about it. We don't even stay here for long. What's the other purpose that it could be? The only purpose is that you know God truly so that he will save you. And so the reason why God has put you where you are, the reason why God has allowed all the trials, the good and the bad to come to you in the, in the way it came to you, it's so that you should seek him and then it's so that you should repent. When Jesus came on the earth, he had one simple message. He said, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Friends, the message has not changed. Unless we repent, we are not going to see eternal life. Unless we repent, we are going to die in our sins. And so we have to pause and reflect. Look at our lives and confess every sin to God. And after we have confessed every sin to God, the Bible says, let every, name, every, every tongue that mentions the name Jesus depart from iniquity. Acts uh, 17.31 says, because he has appointed a day. Right, in the which he will judge the world in righteousness by that man whom he hath ordained, whereof he hath given assurance unto all men in that he has raised him from the dead. Friends, God has not put you where you are to enjoy life. You are where you are so that you should seek him. Know him. Serve him. Because a day is coming where he will judge the world in righteousness. And we are told in the book of Peter that all the elements are going to melt. And then he says, if the world will end like this, if these things are going to happen, what manner of life are we supposed to live? 
ubuzima butumariye iki how how are we supposed to live our lives no ne dusabwa kubaho dute imibero yacu iki gihe knowing that god is going to judge one day ni tumaze kumenya neza yuko imana izacu rubanza ari umunsi imana ijye gucurubanza how are you living your life no ne imibero ho yawe iriho ite and this is not theory ntabwo rero ibinyi baramagambo gusa because god has given assurance to all men kuko imana yahaye umuntu wese ibyiringiro in that he raised jesus from the dead ko yazuye yesu mu bapfuye see the greeks didn't believe that there was such thing as a resurrection mwibuke yuko abagiriki ntabwo bizeraga mu muzuko in fact when he spoke about this they actually mocked him they thought that when a person die well they continue the afterlife but that's just it but here we are told that Jesus Christ died but was resurrected and the book of uh 1 Corinthians 15 we are told that if Jesus was not resurrected then our faith is in vain then of all men we are the most miserable kandi umuntu yari kuba ndetse nta nagacira amazi afite but because he resurrected ariko kuko yazutse we have hope that we are going to be resurrected but it's not just the resurrection that we want we want eternal life and so jesus says this is the will of god that of all he has given me i should lose none but i should raise him up at the last day ko iyo myaka yose imana yampaye nta ipusha busa So Jesus says that of all he has given me I should lose no one but I should raise them up on the resurrection day. So nuko rero ijambo ry'Imana Yesu aravuga ati yo myaka yose nahawe ngomba kwenda kugira ngo ntazagira numwe mpusha ubusa maze napfa nkazimira byiteka ryose aho ku munsi w'umuzuko nzazukira ubugingo bw'iteka ryose. And so Jesus promises that he is going to resurrect us if we follow him. Nuko rero Yesu aradusezeranira yuko nitumukurikira nubwo twapfa azatuzura. But for us to be resurrected by his voice on that first resurrection. Ariko kuri twe kuzazurwa rwose niryo jwi rye gosa kuri wa musi w'umuzuko. We have to listen to him now. Nuko dukene kumutegera amatwi ubu nona. It's not easy but it has to be done. But with God everything is possible. And so as we close today, as you ask yourself why am I here? And we have seen that you are here because God wants you to seek him. If there's anyone among you that says I want to seek God truly. I want to understand why God has put me where I am. Ndifuza gusobanukirwa one who is saying lord i have not been serving you the right way all these years i was just living i was just living life i was not thinking about why am i here and what i can do for you I want you to join me as we pray and ask God to reveal his will to us. And so I'm going to uh, stop sharing and if if you 
if the Holy Spirit has moved on you to say, I want to seek God fully and truly, like we did yesternight, I want you to raise your hand showing that you want to do this. And as we do this, I will ask uh, Pastor Joel to pray for us. Ekadusenge <laughs> in heaven. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful teaching, which has touched our hearts so that, Lord, we can know to seek you, to know that you have lost our time. We have really been far away. Even we didn't know why we are here on this, this, this earth and why we have been created. It's just to serve you, to seek you, to serve you, to praise you, to repent our sins so that we can be ready for the day which is coming. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. All right, thank you so much. Murakoze Vandi Mwen, I want to revenge for Zoom. Imani, I want to share the Kambaze. The same for your Mujikari. You must sort of go say, Nadu Arejo, are you must not do for Shichani? I want you to respond. Vanamum new Tergos, Vanamum new to Tirgos. Yes, yes. The same must not do for he has. Yes. yes. Oh, the Kumba Nagusa, the Kumba Majuriava Navas. Amen. Murangi and Inzira, Egyam Texas. Nakuni, I am with Texas, who were quite a Kuam Gramu, Abu Muradika, and Novazan was a prison. In I am take us. I will 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 take us. I no more young of a decorated in Birmana, the Tayra Matqui, Mazet Kumbir Jamboriza, Maz is in Dirimbo, the Twi Kir was say it is Amboriot Mazakumba, and the Fashway Chan in Indirimbo, one of a decorimba. Mohammed, we thank you very much. I believe you listened. So we have our brother Mohammed, Mohammed, bonsoir, your duty Benice. We are very content to you. All right, all right. Ok. Merci, merci, merci beaucoup, merci beaucoup. Et tu l'as dit ça, 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 tu l'as All right. Tranezere cyane kubabona bose ndi twabaherukaga none ubu turabafite kabisa. Turasuhuje cyane. Amen amen amen. Amen.
Well, well, Zakomeza Kuamenesha, Mikito Meru, Zavamenesha, Ibiza with a chat in Bere. We still have many, many, many good things to come. So we will be sending you messages to get ready. Ravashi, Neva Kogava, Triman, Ivamugisha, Majri Meza, Indirim Bonziza, Zadu Kozeko Mutima, Ose Kugirish and Borizot Mazekum. Altera Matri, Sister Jacqueline. Ado atragiza nyakasani kandi twese iki cyumwe kizatuberekeza ko bahe imana dusenge urakoze ibinyiro bya kwizera inyagasani turanezerewe amen ngura mwiza nkuyu aho isaba to kuri bamwe Bakimova Irangiza, Avandra Kava Irangije, Mana Kumasa Tandu Kanye would mon what we see. Won't we say Amagambo Ava Mokanoa? Quima no Mosore, Amazing Hobuchi Nyagasani Osa Muhir Mujisha, 
Amen. Amen. Nyagasani ni usatane ararwana inkundura yuko yabateza ikintu cyose cyatuma bava ku ijambo ryawe ariko nyagasani aho cyago cyate imbaraga zo zirigaragaza mm satani bibiri duhamiriza byinshi kwa banye na Yozefu wabonye na Mishake na Bidinego wabanye na Yohana wabonye na Esteri nyagasani uzabana n'abahungu bacu usaba n'abakobwa bacu nyagasani ubakomereze was Maga Hovari, Chani Chani Muri Messi, Technology, it matter he won't do, Technology, Ravana, Vachiribato, Navacuru Niturete, Technology at the Sahura, Amangoni Joro, Arico Nagasani, Uvishi Mirwe, Kurakut Kurizomobiro Monsi, Guahirwa, Wumva, if you moka, Arihova Gamaraka Kani. Amen. Nagasani, we want almost right to get tea. Corona is a good year with about Monzo. The cover was the use at the Harabo in the review, Sinagasan, Nibio Hokuman, Aratango to Mamondi Rimbo, Aratango to Tuma, a Korea technology, the Tomazi Havan, who to win in a devi, can move to Nagat Nogut Yumve, man of the Fashi Zavana, the Fashi Zavayozi, the Fashi Zavafasha, the Fashi Murbius Kujan with Jenichi, Mitwitcher has it yet to Chifugaho, a Matekan Haya, as I get to see Ramuzima. Amen. Kanyagasani, Lumon Horwesi, I dear quarrel with Chumirie, do he for Shwanaya Magambo. Nagasani, Mareka Murinzi, a Trinity Yatma, Satana do Saramo, Tuma, Muzinaria Yesu. Amen, amen, amen. Well, Murakoze, Chane, Alicia, God bless you and the family. Yes, God bless you. Mani Mahamujisha. Manasse, Alice, Ernestine, Ernestine, not coming you are you, eh? Ernestine, not coming you are you, eh? Ah, Vanzari Kurukunda, one had a room with Juma. I want to be you are you, Harry, your boss, Ernestine, Juliet, Michela Yvonne, and yes, and Angel Mahoro, Galaxy, Emile, Sikora, Mohammed, Isaac, Mukano Hedi, Manu Homogisha, to Zagri, to Muruchiza. Zongere to one and a jum guitar, not quick amigisho, a jo, a mixture with tonas of a joche, Muriota Vuga Murio da Sirgo. Ah, Ejo Samoya Zamuton Dozahano, a termomigi show, Meza, a joy. Uza Chique, a hejo, a chumorichiza, Muslim James. I bless you, Michael. Praise God, Sir Gosser Gos. Amen, amen, amen. He is a wonderful pastor, a good, a good. Preacher, <laughs> no, not a Murakoze, 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 Ijorodiza, Mugoro Amiza. Uh, bye bye, Juliet. You can close. Oh, James, you can leave. Travashim Yachane, Imano Mish. Bye.